All the round of 16 matches were decided today, and the first Heads. match on court number two featured two famously determined players. World number Your eight, time. Sarah Arani, faced French Receive. number one, Marion Bartley. Yep. Bartley came through an impressive display of Spain in the defeat of Russian Tetsan in Moscow. The French was broken, and later, Arani had the chance to take the set. So her talent was turned to the attack. Well, yeah, yeah, Arani yeah, had to do the finishing yeah. herself, but helped out greatly by Bartoli, and there is the break for the set. Oh, that's, that's almost cruel with how poorly Bartoli is playing right now to start set number two. And Irani just picking her spots. And Bartoli is long, committing her 29th unforced error, and it is done in Indy Wells. The first quarter finalist to the 2013 BMP Paribas Open is Sarah Arani of Italy. The Spaniard showed she could well match the power play of Sharapova. The Russian is really for the break of five ball to then serve. Well, called wide. Shut up, I'll change the call on the left side. Well, and there it is. She throws up her hands in disgust and says, what are you talking about? Uh, it wasn't flush on the line, Marie. It caught the outside, but you did get the set. Despite a relatively tight first shot, Sharapova took her place to a level beyond her young Spanish opponent. And just the battering ram that is the forehand of Maria Sharapova. The match was quickly brought to a conclusion. Get and finishing with a flurry. Maria Sharapova, exclamation seven, point five, in the ace. A 23-minute second set shutout. For Lara Arubarena Messina. And the Spaniard who pulled off the biggest victory of her career has been dismissed. And Sharapova is back to the quarterfinals in Indian Wells. Heads. The sales. Receive. Okay. Azarenka has enjoyed a great start this season. Nonetheless, she's lost the number one time. It's quite difficult to start over open. In this match, she gets over. She's clearly not happy with her play. Azarenka grabbed the early break. making the most of a difficult situation. And back-to-back -back double faults to finish off the set with an ailing Victoria Azarenka. And Ursula Radvanska has just done herself in. pay the price. That's it. Victoria Azarenka dropping just four games as she wins in the fourth round and reaches the quarterfinals for a third consecutive time. The last time this pair met was in the 2012 Tournament of Champions, where Petrova won in straight sets. And in this match, it was the Russian who displayed impressive shot making, such as in this point. Petrova went on to get a break in this game from 4 3 -3. Well, that's exactly what a lot of people are looking for from Caroline Wozniacki. And Nadia Petrova comes up with an amazing lob. But Wozniacki broke back at 5 4, so the Russian struggled to hold her nerve at the key moment. The first set then went to a tie break. And that set is done. And it's Caroline Wozniacki racing to her chair, feeling rejuvenated. Bit of a seesawing opening set. But it's the former number one who jumps out to the one set lead. Wozniacki got a break at three all. And in the next game, this was the crucial point of the match. But the forehand continues to plague Petrova's chances. 
Rocky's consistent play proved to be enough for the victory. And long from Petrova. Doesn't look like she's even going to challenge. It doesn't matter. It's done. She knows she was overwhelmed tonight. Wojciecki did exactly what she always does. And she does indeed return to the quarterfinals in Indian Wells.